many times patients ask me and families, what would you do in your case if you were in this situation? What would you decide? Or what would you decide for your mother if she had dementia? Or questions like that. And, and I always stop and tell them, I'll give you the best information possible, and I will make a recommendation that I think is the most appropriate for you. But at the end, you and your family will have to decide what is the best course of action. I discovered geriatric medicine when I was in medical school. For me, actually, it's even more interesting and more fulfilling to deal with that because you're not just dealing with a medical problem, you're dealing with a person. And you can see how that influences their, page, their outcomes and, and, again, their quality of life. And you are looking at helping people deal with disease and live a long and fulfilling life. Memory and concentration problems that we call cognitive problems become more common with age. Uh, they are not a normal part of the aging process. But yes, age in, in itself is a risk factor for many of these problems. So of course I got interested not only in recognizing that this is not normal part of aging, that we need to pay attention because if we identify them earlier, we may be able to delay and prevent the onset of disability, lack of function, and progression to advanced stages of dementia. Although the medical domain is probably what brings patients to us, the reality is that uh, as we get older, other uh, domains of, of, of life or health become very important. Probably one of the most important and the one that drives geriatric medicine is function. You know, you may have a lot of medical problems, uh, but still be able to do all the, your daily activities, go outside shopping. So focusing on improving function is a key aspect of geriatric medicine. Seeing that you can make an impact, that at least people that can get an answer from you and feel that they have somebody on their corner, I think it's very fulfilling. And knowing that there are new treatments that will become available in, for geriatric conditions, for dementia, Alzheimer's, even more exciting because then you are not only giving hope to people that there will be treatments and, and, and you cannot underestimate the power of hope for anybody.